Cam led by such a gap there. What was it that made you feel so confident and strong enough to really pull away and, and lead for the duration of that race? I think multiple things. Uh, my Yamaha guys have been working so hard. Um, as to, I really like this track. I feel like the R1 suits it really well. Um, my R1 likes to be on the side of the tire, and I feel like that's where we make up some time on the guys. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a bummer to crash this morning in Super Bowl. Um, put those guys to work rebuilding the bike before before the race, but uh, that one's definitely for them after uh, after crashing a bike up this morning. So uh, I felt I was really happy just, uh, you know, just with my fitness. And uh, I mean, it's pretty hot out here today. And I knew Tony and Garrett were going to be really tough today. So uh, to pull a little gap that uh, gave me a little confidence. So um, congrats to them too. I'm sure it's going to be even tougher tomorrow. And uh, yeah, big hats off to my Monster Energy Yamaha, Yamalube Yamaha team, Bell, Alpine Sars, and Man Above for keeping me safe. And uh, yeah, all the fans for coming out. Congrats, Cam. Thank you so much. Best way, best way to reward your team after you have them rebuild your motorcycle. And I know he's done that a couple times in the past, but it doesn't phase him. He's such a smart guy, and he's able to be able to kind of access what, figure out what he has done. And you can see here, he just gets up underneath Garrett Gerloff very early in the race, gets the bike really slowed down, gave Garrett a lot of room there too. And um, yeah, I was able to go on and win this race pretty easily actually today for, for Cameron Bobier. So congratulations go out to the California native Cameron Bobier, the 3.5 second margin of victory. He'll take a look at that tonight, but he's got to do it all over again tomorrow.